Welcome to the Gift Up podcast. Make sure to hit that like button, share the videos, and subscribe. In this podcast, I want to go through the rookie wide receivers that I think are going to have the biggest impact in year one. First up, Jerry Judy. He was my number one coming out of college. I completely disagree with all the negative criticism towards him. People saying that he's just a slot receiver, that he can't develop into a true number one at the NFL level. I disagree completely with that. When I look at Jerry Judy, I see a receiver that could be the total package. So I don't see any reason why he's not going to put the work in to become a true number one wide receiver at the NFL level. I think you're going to see a lot of good things from him in Denver. Next up, C.D. Lamb. He was my number two wide receiver coming out. And I just think he's the total package at receiver. You have speed, athleticism, jumping ability, catchability. I don't really think there's anything bad I could say about him or Jerry Judy. So with, in Dallas, too, it's a great position for him to succeed. Amari Cooper already is going to take up coverage. So C.D. Lamb's going to be able to come in and I think have a pretty good rookie year. Next up, Jalen Rieger for the Philadelphia Eagles. Health is really my only concern with Jalen Rieger, but his route running ability is through the roof. His hands are through the roof, awareness through the roof, and I think we'll all see that if, in fact, he can just make sure that he's healthy on the field. Next up, LaVisca Chanel for the Jaguars. And not a lot of good things I could say about the Jaguars this offseason. A lot of negativity surrounding the organization. But they did have a pretty decent draft. Chanel is one of the reasons why at receiver. I think him and DJ Chark and Keenan Cole think you're going to be seeing some big plays from him. And just like Jalen Rieger, Chanel was one of the better route runners that I saw coming out. And I felt like he was worthy of being picked in the first or second round. The Jaguars were able to scoop him up. I think we're going to see him make big plays for them. Brandon Ayuk for the 49ers. And this is exciting. I would say the biggest trait I saw from Ayuk on film was at times he had elite speed. And he coupled that with the route running and just burned defenders. But I think consistency was the only thing from Brandon Ayuk that I wanted to see more of. There was too many patches in his game. But I will say, if he can harness what he's good at and become more consistent, I think he'll have a big year for the 49ers, no doubt about it. Tyler Johnson was a pretty deep sleeper on my board. He went in the fifth round to the Buccaneers. I think the one thing that he has to work on is his agility. He's got to get a, a little bit better of his, with his breaks, his route running, just be quicker about it. But you could see the, the main raw talent is there with Tyler Johnson. He's just got to polish his game up. But all around, I would say he's a, a pretty damn good receiver that has it all. He's just got to get better in, at his craft. That's all I can say. Uh, raw talent there. And a gadget player to round it off that I'm really excited about is Lynn Bowden. And I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do at the NFL level. Coming out of college, he was a wide receiver, but he also played running back, quarterback. He was a gadget guy. But I think he can make plays at every level, of every point of the field. And maybe like a Taysom Hill, he can have that kind of impact, maybe even a bigger impact than Taysom Hill has at his own craft. And with that, those are the rookies on offense at receiver that I want everybody to watch. Make sure to hit that like button, share the videos, and subscribe.